Okay guys, we left off before. We're gonna work on acting like Rambo and taking down some of this tile on the backsplash. And this is the preferred method that I'm going with. I'm gonna show you. You, you don't need a ton of tools to do this. Um, I'm gonna show you messy ways, I'm gonna show you clean ways, I'm gonna show you labor intensive ways. So this is what I'll be using and it, it won't be too bad. If you were in a crunch for time, if you really need to destroy something and you don't care what happens, you're gonna clean it all up afterwards, use a rotary hammer drill. This works just like the saws that I show you. It's got chisel blades. It's got pointed blades, fat blades. You can get drill bit blades with a lot of different uh, accessories you can put in here. And with the sawzall, when you pull the trigger, it does oscillating already by itself, the reciprocating. This, you can set it to drill, you can set it to hammer, like it will work like the sawzall, or you can set it to hammer drill where it will spin and bounce. The difference with this, you get this tightened out. In order to get the hammering action, you have to engage the tip. So it's like a mini jackhammer. And I've had to use this on floors, and it's a, it's it sucks. It sucks when you have to pull this out. We're focusing on clean demo, trying to live through the demo where you can get everything finished without getting a divorce. Unless, of course, you're trying to just make the property value higher so you get more money when you get divorced. That's a different story. And a very real situation. So this, this I bought for one job. I've used it three or four times now. It was probably 70 bucks, 80 bucks, maybe 100 bucks by now. But again, you don't need something like that. Okay, I've had to pull out a grinder before to do demo. Um, you can get a corded grinder for probably 59 to 79 dollars. I've had to pull this out to remove floor tile from concrete subfloor and I've had to pull this out to break up concrete that was glued or tile that was glued down very well to plywood subfloor. Um, when, when you got to pull this out this is a dusty messy dirty job and if you all oh, you should have a respirator on a face mask ear protection everything. I had to make a clean zone tent it off like a quarantine. So what you would do is, and if we have to cut into the plaster, we may have to use this uh, going in later. What you're gonna do, you're just gonna score it and then come back and hammer it out, chisel it out. And real quickly, you see. You see how much dust is there? You see how much noise that makes? This is also one of the last resorts. I've had to use that to cut up sidewalk before. Another fairly reasonable option that would take longer is an oscillating tool. This is a, what is this, a Multimax? It's a Dermapro, a Dremel Multimax. And it has different blade attachments put in there. Um, this blade we probably could have ripped up the carpet with if we needed to. Got a little hook on it. Other attachments, scrapers right here I've used before. Uh, I don't remember on what. But you put that on there and get in the side, go up and down and pop them loose. That's not bad. This is, this is, takes longer. Um, it's cleaner. It's not as much dust as the grinder or the rotary hammer drill. Um, and again, this is at most of your big box hardware stores. You know, if you've got the time, 
and you've got helpers, or maybe you've got helpers that you don't want them to use power tools. You've got little kids, maybe they, they want to get involved. Let's get a hammer and chisel. It's going to be almost the cleanest. Topside, well, this is already coming out. But it's hammer. Hammer and chisel is how they built the pyramids, right? Do we know what the aliens used to build those pyramids? I always forget, but it's simple like that. Well, what's a hammer now? Five, ten bucks? A chisel you can get for ten bucks? Cheap, affordable demo. And it's going to be clean. Sweep up as you go. Not a big deal. Or leave this out because I might not need it. This is going to be the fastest way for me, and uh, I'm probably going to enjoy this the most. not bury it with uh, dust. protection. Put in the air protection too. Alright, so we're doing a little bit of damage to the plaster. Not much. It's a lot less damage you will do with the grinder or the rotary hammer drill. Once in a while, clean up your mess. Keep your family happy. Or have your kids clean up the mess while you're working. Look at that. Scoop it up into a bucket, take it out to the garbage. A cleaner job site is a safer job site. I didn't know about lunch at 3.30. Well, you know about it now. So you want to go to lunch at 3.30 yet? Where are we going? We're going to Iguana Juan. All right, I'm going to be dirty because I'm doing demo. That's fine. All right. Cool. Great. Well, we'll see you then. Cool. Cool beans. Have fun demoing whatever you're doing. Yeah, you want to come help? No. I'm, I don't want to work. I'm at home. You don't want to work? What kind of lazy llama bean are you? I have my own job in Kentucky. Oh my God. What? You have a job? What? Hold on. Oh, oh. I'm going to cardiac arrest. You have a job? <laughs> okay, I'll call 911. What's your location? <laughs> uh, I'll tell you my location if you're going to come bring some gloves and a hammer. No, I'm not. Wait, he's breaking things. Alright, I'll see you at 3.30. Okay, cool. All right. We'll see you at 3.30. Alright. Yep, okay. Bye. Okay, bye. Bye. 
was my niece. She's home from college for the weekend. Been harassing her her whole life about getting the job. You know, I had to try uh, the bigger blade, more power. Uh, and just like I had said, it is a lot more aggressive with less control. It was uh, bouncing around a lot more. Um, and it took bigger gouges out of the wall over here. So I, I switched back to the smaller blade. So the smaller blade, it's about two inches. That, that was good. That worked. Even if you have bigger tile, I would still stick with the smaller blade. So, Alexa, what time is it? It's 2.01 p.m. It's 2.01 p.m. I've got all the backsplash off the wall. I've got the floor cleared. I gotta clean off the counter, throw it out. So, 10 or 15 minutes, I will be back to a clean job site. So, grab your shovel. Grab your bucket, start cleaning up. And this is a little dusty, so if you want to wear your dust mask, go ahead. Also, still might have been a good idea to put plastic over the entry, keep the dust down. But this was the second least dusty way. The cleanest way to do this would have been just the hammer and the chisel, but it would have taken you forever. So, uh, if you got time, you want it that clean, be that clean, uh, this is fast enough. I got, I got lunch, I'm gonna leave it lunch for three o'clock, and so I got, I got half hour to 40 minutes to kill. recommend not using a garbage can for this because it's going to get way too heavy. I'm about half full. This thing is probably 20-25 pounds right now. gallons. That's got to be 30, 40 pounds. I'm going to use for that bigger blade. Yeah, it's great dust. Keep your dust mask on, put your face diaper on. Alexa, what time is it? 
2.22 p.m. Floor swept up. A couple bags, a couple buckets. It's not perfect. It's livable. It's not a disaster. You could come in. Well, if you cleaned all this up, you could still use your kitchen. You could still use your stove. You still get the refrigerator. So, I don't even remember when I started. Um, but I don't know if it took an hour, maybe, to do this whole wall. Demo, clean up. I was playing with lights. You can do this. Don't make an excuse. Demo this wall could cost you nothing but garbage. Again, hammer and chisel, basic, basic expenses. If you want to go with power tools, power up. Everybody you know has got a sawzall, -saw, reciprocating saw. If you want to borrow one, maybe rent one, maybe you buy a cheap one for 30 bucks online somewhere. So everybody's selling tools all the time. So speaking of tools, I bought a lawnmower. 100 bucks, I bought a used lawnmower. I was a mile away. So I didn't want to pay $400 for a brand new one, use it twice and store it for the winter. So if you got one, big deal. I needed one because my commercial lawnmower doesn't fit in the backyard. So now I'm push mowing again. All right, guys. Uh, I'm going to clean up and uh, get ready to go out for tacos. It's taco time. Jorge likes tacos.